Hello, everyone. I'd like to invite you to a pranayama course, an online pranayama course that we will be doing through our Patreon site, Journal of a Kriya Yoga Teacher. We've already explored classes on the yamas and niyamas, yogic asana, and so the appropriate place to go from there is pranayama. And that's because pranayama is that preparatory practice for effective meditation. When we look at the Yoga Sutras and the definitions of yoga, we have these different limbs, which begins with the yamas and niyamas, the actions to do and the restraints to avoid. Um, we have yogic asana, essentially preparing yourself to direct your awareness within. And next comes pranayama, which effectively begins to train the mind, the body, the nervous system, the hormonal system to hold a space of stillness so that you can use your mantra practice, your contemplative practice, your prayer practices with more efficiency. And this is part of the science of yoga and the science of Kriya Yoga. Many people need pranayama because it helps to break obsessive thought patterns. It helps to remove and still uh, distractions within the mind. And once those distractions are still, once we're able to access that inner stillness, there's balance within the body, the energetic system, um, in the mind, then you start to get a sense of what it really means to practice meditation. Now, if you are already a skilled meditator, this class is going to be geared towards helping you break through plateaus within your meditation process. If you are not a skilled meditator, then again, this is going to be a class which is going to assist you in creating the best foundation you can have uh, for meditation. Within this class, we're going to look at structures of pranayama, structures of breath awareness, how to fit into your meditation. We're going to explore variations on very common pranayama breath awareness practices. We're going to learn how to intensify the practices. We're also going to talk about and review some of the healing and regenerative properties of pranayama and breath awareness. And of course, in that vein, we're going to discuss some of the science behind pranayama. Uh, in the recent years, recent decade or so, there's been more research into how pranayama affects the body, affects the nervous system, um, affects the hormones within the body, creates chemicals which help the body to heal itself as far as, it's, as, far as possible, depending on how the rest of your lifestyle is um, organized. But all these things we're going to be covering in this class. And again, it begins April 8th, and we're going to meet for three sessions uh, from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. So once again, if you are already a member of the Journal of a Kriya Yoga Teacher Patreon community, you're already included in this. You're going to be sent an invite anyway. So if you want to join, by all means, go ahead. Um, if you are not a Patreon member at this time and you want to participate, um, just send me an email. Contact me and I will put a link to the class description um, below this video. Say you want to register, say what your practices are in meditation, where you are, why you're coming at this practice, uh, and then we'll look to admit you to the course itself. And for you, that'll be on a donation basis. And the reason we're doing this is because pranayama is one of the fundamental ways of gaining access to the higher stages of yoga, pratyahara, internalizing your awareness, concentration, uh, dhyana, meditation, uh, culminating in samadhi or a unified state of consciousness. So it's essential to begin learning this. Even if you are, uh, you just practice mindfulness meditation, or even if you practice vichara from Ramana Maharshi, or Ramana Maharshi even said that for those who can't immediately direct their mind within and be still, that pranayama and mantra serve as a wonderful tool and support to give you the power and uh, the glimpse of, of stillness so that you can begin moving into it more fully uh, just through conscious 
intention alone. So uh, our goal is to teach you ways of practicing pranayama, effective ways of, of practicing breath awareness, uh, schedules of practice, how to integrate it into your meditative routine. And then, of course, we're going to discuss uh, the science as we know it so far about this practice. So I look forward to seeing you there, and it'll be a pleasure to discuss this work called Pranayama with you. <laughs>